video, we discussed declaring variables and assigning values to those variables. I've created a little application here in uh, Visual Studio C Sharp. It's a Windows form. It has one button called BTN Demo. And we're going to look at the code for that button. So I created a variable called population. It's a string data type. And I assigned it a literal string of 5,278 students. And we can change that value in our code, which I actually did down here. I changed it to 4,982 students. And that 4,982 would replace the 5,278 when it hits that line of code. But this video is about constants. And constants are just like variables, except their value doesn't change. Thus the name constant. So we declare a constant the same way we do a variable. Here I have a constant. I gave it, gave it a name of SMCC. It's also of type string, but I put this keyword modifier up here in front called CONST. And that keyword tells the compiler that SMCC is never going to change. It's always going to be the value assigned to it, which is South Mountain Community College. Now after that line, I present a message box here that shows uh, the value of SMCC, so it would be South Mountain Community College, has literal string concatenation, and then I'm concat concatenating the value of population, 5,278 students. That's going to pause my execution with that message box. We'll see that displayed. And then once I press the OK key, it's going to run this next code of 4,982 students being assigned to population. Notice I don't declare it again. I only declare it once. Up here at the top, I declared it as a string. Here, I'm just assigning a new value to it. And then we'll show the message box again. We'll see the difference. Let me just run this. So here's our project. I clicked, I clicked Demo Variables and Constants button. And I get how many students is my title. South Mountain Community College has 5,278 students. So that was from this value of population. But when I click OK, it's then going to change that to 4,982 students for the value of population and redisplay my message box, and that's what I get. So we're changing the value of the variable. But if I try to do the same thing with a constant, let's reassign SMCC. Instead of South Mountain Community College, I'm just going to put SMCC as a literal string being assigned to it. And you'll notice I get an, a red squiggly. There's an error here. And it basically tells me that this is a local constant. It already has a value assigned to it. And so if I want this to be the case, if I want to reassign SMCC to the, the identifier named SMCC, then that left-hand side of the assignment must be a variable, a property, or an indexer. So I could fix this. If I wanted, I could change that to just be a variable, and now that red squiggly goes away, but it's no longer a constant. If the value is never going to change in the course of your program, or the course of this, in this case, this local scope method, then make it a constant. That will help protect that information. Otherwise, if it's going to change over time, or might change over time, then you want to create that as a variable.